In this video, I am going to walk through the ifs function in Excel, which can take the place of multiple nested if statements. I am using Office 365 Excel on a computer running Windows. The process will be similar on a Mac. As I said, the ifs function takes the place of multiple nested if statements. The ifs function was added with the release of Excel 2016. An example of where this ifs function could make life easier is calculating student letter grades using a grading scale. I'm going to walk through the use of the ifs function now. I have a simple Excel file here that has grade percent in cell A2 with a series of percentage scores in cells A3 through A7. We want to assign a letter grade to each of those percentages. Click in cell B3 and type the equals sign. Next, click on the Insert Function icon. In the Insert Function pop-up that appears, type IFS in the Search for a Function field. Click on IFS in the selection box and then click OK. Now the function box appears. In the first logical test box, point to cell A3, which is the percentage grade. We want first to test if that percentage is greater than 89.99, so type greater than 89.99. That first logical test then is A3 greater than 89.99. The value, if that is true, is the letter grade of A. Next, we have the second logical test. Point to cell A3 again and type greater than 79.99. Now we have the logical test of A3 greater than 79.99, which is testing if the grade is less than 89.99 and greater than 79.99. If the grade is in that range, it will be a B, which is what we type in the value if true to cell. For logical test 3, we will be testing to see if the percentage grade in cell A3 is greater than 69.99 and less than 79.99. If true, this letter grade will be a C. For the logical test 4, we will be testing to see if the percentage grade in cell A3 is greater than 59.99 and less than 69.99. If true, the letter grade will be D. Our last test, logical test 5, is to say that everything else is an F. To do that, we will make logical test 5 to test whether A3 is greater than 0 and less than 59.99. The value, if true, is then an F. We click OK to finish the formula. Copy that formula down to fill in the rest of the cells B4 through B7. You see that the letter grades have all been calculated. At the top of the screen, I have listed the formula that we just created for cell B3, which is much shorter than if we had used multiple nested if statements. That's it, we are done. This video was created and narrated by Dr. Wendy Teets and is part of the Excel Skill Builder video series. See accountingisanalytics.com for additional faculty and student resources.